Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're checking out the latest update of Mario Mania Oh my god, what what a week it's been honestly like first of all, I, I know this is off topic I know I get off topic a lot, but I gotta say guys. Thank you so much for like watching the video before this one the um Alps models uh, Something I forgot the name of it already, but I, I'm just shocked Honestly, I'm just so shocked and thankful for you all for supporting the channel for this long and just blowing up the freaking videos like you guys going crazy on it. I see it. I, I see y'all. Y'all killing it. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. So happy. And remember also to support Alps models too. Check them out too. Check them out. Yes, please check them out because they are awesome. And um, you guys should check them out. And if you haven't, well, what are you waiting for? What are you, they're free. The models are free come on guys but back on topic though yes this is the update video on mario mania made by the awesome creator yoshi please go check him out guys on his channel and subscribe to him because he has put in work he has put in freaking work in his mod like there's a lot of new stuff you see that back there there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of new stuff in his mod and and also also in a little bit after I show off the mechanics and stuff, there's a cool surprise too I want to show you guys too. You guys are going to be flipping out when I tell you more about it. But I'm going to let y'all just wait on there. Alright, I'm going to just make y'all wait. Because uh, it's really, really cool. You guys are going to like it. I'm sorry if you guys don't want to wait. But I think you guys should wait though because it's very awesome. But first off, we're going to be doing mechanics. There's a lot of new mechanics stuff now also. Oh yeah, oh, I'm also using Alps Mario. Which you will see why I'm also using it too. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I know. I know. I speak a lot. I speak fast. But you're going to like it though. You're going to like it. Because why not? It's super cool. It's Mario stuff. But back to, was, <laughs> back to what I was saying though. Mechanic stuff. But back to what I was saying though. Mechanic stuff. Well first I'm going to need to put on Mario's cap. Which I know it looks a little strange. It looks a little strange when it's on him like this. But it's going to get fixed. Everything's going to look good. You're gonna be like, okay, it looks great. But for the moment now, we have it look like that. You're not even gonna be looking at the face anyway, so that doesn't even matter. Um, so what we have now is, uh, I'm looking at the stuff here. Uh, you can now hang onto ledges, fall near the ledge and look towards it in space to climb onto it. So let's test that out actually. Let's see, um, uh, like this, okay? So we're gonna do one of these. Oh, what it so you see that? You hang onto it. Now if you look up and then press spacebar, you can jump right onto it. Isn't that just neat? That wasn't there before like as a feature. These are all new things I'm about to show you guys. Um, now you can also wall jump. Wall jump. And isn't that crazy? Okay. Um, oh yeah, that's Boom Boom. Yep. Spoiler alert. Boom Boom is in the game now. Crazy. I know. Um, so wall jumps. You press space in the air near a wall, basically, as you will do in any other Mario game. Um, hold on, let me just build something to show you guys. Oh, wait, I think I just realized, actually, they already been had wall jump before, and I'm just now realizing it. Again. That's how cool this mod is. I'm just now realizing there was always... I think there was always wall jump. Maybe. I, I have to watch the video again. It's been that long since I played Mario Mania mod. But, yeah, you can do that. And, hold on, hold on. You can even... Wait, wait, let's see. There's something else. I know there. Yes, the triple jump. Oh my god. So there's a triple jump now. How it works is basically. And also there's a, a jump, a land jump, I guess so you can say. Um. Okay, let me just go down through everything. Refresh, refresh. I know, I'm off. Uh, so now you can do these things, right? Well, you been could. You can also do this. Boom. With the animation too, with the model, which is amazing. And you can also do one of these when you crouch and wait for the sparkles. Boom! You do a freaking backflip. Amazing, right? Amazing. And now if I do um, the land jump, you jump after the ground pound, basically. You do boom, boom, and then you jump higher. This is your normal height. This is your better height with the land jump. Uh, ground. Yeah, land jump. So you can actually do a kind of like parkour thing. Boom, boom, like that. Look at that. Amazing. And now it's time for... Wait, is it? No, not yet, not yet. Uh, make a long jump and then roll. It's it's a little bit complicated, honestly. You run, and then you press shift. Wait, no. You run, and then shift. 
Well, kind of just like that, in a way. You saw that? How I went like... Oh, that's tricky. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah, I'm just like this in the actual game. Honestly, it's... Basically that. That's the long jump. The long jump is like that. And now for the newest one, the triple jump, which is like this. And you know in Super Mario Brothers, um... Actually, I think most Super Mario Brothers games are like this. Will you like do this? One, two, three. Or, wait, am I doing it wrong? Okay, hold on. Wait, you got a time to jump right. Here we go. See, so that was three jumps, and then you get like the big jump right there. So one, two, three. Boom! You get a huge height, basically, a really huge height. Like I think I can make up there. Hold on. Let's see. One, two, three. I messed it up. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yeah, there's birds, too. There's a lot of new stuff. There's a lot of new stuff. Oh, that that's a new one. Okay, well, since I didn't really do the triple jump the correct way, I'm gonna just do it right here. There we go. But there's also this. You, the thing from um, Super Mario Bros. Uh, you, we, and Wonder, how you can do this. I isn't that just amazing? Uh, the twirl to make a small double jump, only with the Mario cap, though. You press control in midair, though, to do that. Isn't that like dude? I've never seen any of this stuff in a Mario mod before. Like this is amazing. Right here. That just little twirl thing that gives me so many like memories of like playing it on like the um Wii U or the Switch too. Like how you can this that's just amazing. That gives it so much more mechanics in this mod. Like, you know, you guys understand it's so great. And I'm not even just exaggerating. I'm not even exaggerating. This is actually really cool to me. I always wanted something like this in Minecraft, but I never thought it would actually happen. Look at that. Wait, so let's say you want to go up there. Boom. You do the shift, long jump thing. You can do that midair and you like spin yourself forward towards that. Amazing. Now, I think that is all the mechanics. I think. That might just be all the mechanics. So now I'm going to show you guys... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. There's something cool, too. Hold on. It's a power-up, too, actually. So, he's updated a lot of the sprite stuff now. But the Super Leaf has got a new update. And, um... Just with the Super Leaf, I'm gonna put on the Tanuki suit. So it makes more sense. Yeah, you see that? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, let's say we want to get... Also... Oh, my God. There's just so much stuff now. There is so much stuff now. Like... Let me read about it now to you. So the Super Leaf. Basically, you press control to make a small double jump. Like that. And you can hover too. This is hovering right there. Um, you can do this four times before you land. But if you're on the ground, you can make a tail attack. <clears throat> you can make a tail attack. It is weak, but it can parry different projectiles. For example, bullet bills. Yes. You can project like smack back bullet bills. Let me just show you. All right, here we go. So you see this? Oh, wait, I oh, missed it. Boom! Parry! And look at that, you got the advancement. Parry. You can parry freaking bullet bills like how you do in Super Mario 3D World. Isn't that amazing? And it actually depends on your direction, too. So, boom. Like that. Isn't that an amazing mechanic? Like, dude. I love that. I love that so much. Boom. Absolutely amazing. But... That is all for the power-ups. I believe that's new. Uh, I don't think I missed anything now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's all the new power-up, like, ability type of things. Because everything else was the same as the last time I showed you guys before. And, uh, yeah. Now, I believe I should show you guys the new mobs. Yes, the new mobs. Um, woohoo! Now, I know you guys seen the thumbnail. There's Alf's model, you know. Alf's Mario model, but the big thing about this video though that you guys are gonna learn about today is that now Alf's gave permission to Yoshi to use the models as a resource pack. So basically, this resource pack is called Mario Mania Alf's models or something like that. So it uses the models and animation that Alf's models have. So now we can have Alf's amazing models for the mod isn't that just amazing that like it's all a work in progress right now i can say because he just added these ones in to test it out and stuff but this so far is amazing 
now we get to have freaking Alf's models as enemies. Like, come on, that's freaking amazing right there, I feel like. That's literally amazing. Now, the Goombas, as you see here, remember how the Goombas could stack before? They can still stack. Oh, I killed one. Whoops, my bad. Here, I'm just gonna move you right there. Don't die, though, please don't die. I just need you to- hey, Look, look, look! at that. Look at that. Get on there. Come on, get on there. Come on. No, 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 don't run away. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. See, they can stack, and that's honestly amazing. I love that. Can they, can they all just stack together? No. Well, yeah, look at them, though. They look so good. They look so good. I, I, I love Alps models so much. They look so good. Boom. Look at that. It's amazing. And then the Koopas over here. So right now, um, for these ones right now, these are still work in progress. So when they get out of the Koopa show, they look like that, the old models. But right now, Yoshi is working on the, uh, I guess you call them Beach Koopas model. And when they come out of the show, they're going to look just like the normal models you see right here, basically. But with the undershirt on and stuff, if you know what I mean. Like when they come out of the thing and they just look like that but it's gonna look like alps models of that koopa right there it's gonna look like alps koopa and i'm so excited for it. and even the shell is also the same shell too it's it's amazing it's absolutely amazing i'm so excited to see more because we're not just getting the koopas and goombas we're getting basically everything in that whole thing like it's it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be so amazing to see all the models and stuff also the mario models um He's thinking about making a resource pack for the Mario model suit so it doesn't look weird when you put the cap on and it looks like this. You know, it's gonna look better than that. It's gonna look just like the, you know, the normal model how it usually should. I'm just gonna take it off though for now so it looks, you know, like how it does. But yes, this is the exciting thing to let you guys know on because we're gonna be having basically uh, a whole new thing going on here. It's gonna be amazing. I wanna see a big stack of them. Come on, come on, make a stack. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. I want to get like a three stack or, or even higher than that. But isn't that just amazing, though? We're going to get mega Goombas. Probably mini Goombas, too. We're going to be getting like, you know, all kinds of Goombas, basically. And it's going to be so good. So good. And also Paracoopas, too. Paracoopas, also. Um, It's going to be amazing. But that's, yep, that's Elves. Elves. Um, models. Uh, resource pack basically for the Koopas and Goombas and now to the next ones over here that are new to the uh, mod update we have the Kata Quack now I feel like this is from Super Mario Galaxy I feel like it is I, I could be wrong I don't know I think it is though we also have the elite Kata Quack now these guys they kind of bounce you up in the air now if you guys know what this is from please let me know I feel like it's from Super Mario Galaxy because it looks like something off of Super Mario Galaxy. I could be wrong, though. Um, then, also, we have the Pokey. Which, if you're wondering, yes, there will be a desert land. I'm going to tell you guys about that, too. When we find Peach's Castle. It's a lot of stuff. This video is going to be long. It's going to be super long. But I hope you guys enjoy it all, too. It's, it's a lot of information. A lot of information. So, there's different sizes of Pokey. You know, there can be a small one, tall ones. Um, you can damage... Well... Actually, no, you can't damage them. You need certain abilities, you know, to damage them. Uh, probably Fire Flower or Tanuki Power to break them down and stuff, you know. And, yeah, that's the Pokies right there. They'll be in the Desert Land or Desert World because this is just World 1. What Yoshi told me is that this is just World 1. All this stuff here is all part of World 1. There'll be a World 2 and World 3. There's going to be so many. Oh, there's so many stuff. There's so many stuff. But I'll show you guys more about that, too, when we get to Peach's Castle. We also have Mecha Koopas, which they spawn on airships in certain levels, like that over there. I'll get to later on. So, as you know, Mecha Koopas, you hit them, boom, they break down, they do this. And I, I don't know if you can grab them. Can you grab them? Wait. No, you can't grab them. I thought you could, but nope, you can't. But, you know, that's how they be like. They can't die or anything. They just reanimate, come back. Uh, then we have Mecha Koopa Mark II. Mega Koopa Mark II is the flying ones right here. They fly basically, and I think you can do the same thing if you jump on them. Boom. Let's see if they, uh. Yep, there you go. They fall right down. 
Then we have Mecha. Oh wait, Purple Mecha Koopa Mark II. I guess is a different one. Oh, a little bit different. It's more stable, I think. This one doesn't move, I think. Yeah, this one just kind of just sits there and it might come after you, I think. Let me see. So if I go into survival mode, is it gonna come after me? When it reanimates? No. Guess not. Well, that's how that reacts. Oh, I forgot to show you guys how to um how they react too, the Koopas and Goombas. So the Goombas have like a cool animation when they kinda jump. Yep, you see that? And then they stack together too. And then they try to come after you. I forgot they do that. And then the Koopas actually run after you too and they look angry. Isn't it? Amazing? Look at the big stack! Look at the big stack! Yes! This is what I wanted! This is what I wanted. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at that! Look at that! That's amazing. This... This is what I'm here for. But uh, now I don't know how to beat them up, actually. Wait. No, I, no, I can. I got this. Okay. I'm gonna jump. Jump. Boom! Oh, I missed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, and there goes your shell. Okay. Yep, yep. You guys can chill out. You guys can chill. Okay. Well, uh, the next one's then. Alright, up next we got Bully. An enraged Bully. He has a spike on his head. That's the difference there. Uh, I remember Bully from Super Mario 3D World. So, this is what I remember seeing. Oh, yeah, he actually hits you too. He actually bounces you back a bit. And stuff. It's, it's interesting how that works. And you have to jump on him to, like, bounce him away and stuff. Like this. And boom, just like that. But you would do that in, um, which I'll show you guys later too. It's Larry's uh, Citadel. And there's a bunch of these guys that be wandering around and stuff. It's so cool. Um, then we also have Enrage Bully. So he has a spike on his head and you will take damage if you try to jump on his, onto his head, basically. That's what would happen if you try to do that. We also have Boos too now. I, I love them, how they look. I love the Boos. The Boos are so freaking cool looking. They're gonna have their own little mansion too, also, in um, the later updates for the next world. They will have their own mansions you can go into and then they'll be there. We also have the Unagi, which is the big eel thing from like, uh, you know, Super Mario 64 or any of the other Mario games with the big eel looking thing. Basically, that's what that is. I'm gonna show you guys right here in the water. Bloop. This is the Unagi, it's freaking huge. It's a big eel. It's really hostile too, so you gotta be careful. They spawn at sunken ships, by the way, too. So they will try to rip you apart, basically. And I'll show you guys the sunken ships too later on after the all the new mobs and stuff. But yep, this is the Unagi right here. Very scary. I uh, would not want to mess with it. Yep, that's the Unagi for you. And next up, we have the Fire Snake. Now, this thing is really cool too. As you know from like uh, the other Mario games, the shaders make it look really bright, but I'm pretty sure I could change that. It won't be this bright in like, you know, normal mode. But it looks really cool though with the lighting though, like that. So I'm pretty sure if I went like this, it will try to jump after me. Yep, yep, there it goes. It will try to jump after you, I think. Yeah? No? Yep, yeah, oh, yep, it's trying to. Yep, look at it go. Yep, that's the fire snake. It's awesome looking, I love the, the details onto it. It looks really good. Some coins in there. Now, Lakitu is also in here too, which I'm pretty sure he's gonna be getting the new model from Alves. But here's what he looks like here. You know Lakitu, he follows you. So if I do this, he's gonna follow me. He's gonna try to follow me. You see that? How he's following me right there? He's gonna follow me and then throw the freaking um spinies at you. And if you try to follow him, he's gonna go higher, he's gonna move to the side, he's gonna try to still follow you basically you it won't allow you to get to him like how he is in the actual games he will just basically you know avoid you when you try to jump at him i don't know i wonder if you can take it from him nope you can't now i wonder if he might add that as a a new thing in the update where you can knock him out of it and then start flying the clouds yourself somehow that would be really cool if you can actually do that in the later updates but that's lack of two for you. Now the cool one we got here is the Thwomp. Now he's gonna break. Oh no, he's not gonna break because it got stuck. Oh, yep, that's him basically doing that. He uh, 
Yeah, he's, he breaks. Oh, serum blocks. Yep. But that's the thwomp. It's huge. You can jump onto it, but uh, I'm pretty sure you'll take damage, though, if you... Yep, you'll take damage if you try to step on it. But that's the thwomp. Very huge and very, like, a really good model. Love the model on it. Amazing. Then you have bluestone thwomp, which I'm not sure what the difference is, but we're about to find out right now. We're about to find out right now. Uh, boom. Oh, he is... He looks different, actually. He looks really different. Wow. Yeah, I would not want to be underneath him. Oh. Did he just take damage? He did. I don't know if you can defeat these guys or not, but... No, you can't kill them either. You can't kill a thwomp. Um, very huge, though. And very cool. I like the difference, though. I think it's bluer. And it has the gold stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. And then now for the final... Uh, well, normal entities, we have birds. A little details. You know, like, how they be, like, in, um, Smart 3D World or things like that? They just, like, take off when you kind of get near them. They just go on. Just like that. Um, okay. And now, well, should I show them off where they are or should I show them off now? I'm going to show them off now. Right here. Yeah. All right. Up next is now the bosses. We have Larry Koopa, which is very huge, but... What I personally do, I like to use uh, Pekui and then just like shrink him down just a bit more. And he looks like a normal size for Larry. But that's Larry though for you. He has a lot of attacks and stuff too, which we'll get into later on. And this is Larry the Dark Knight Unsettled, which looks freaking awesome. It looks absolutely amazing. I love how it looks, honestly. I love like the whole different, like, he looks super cool though. He looks really cool. And it's like an armor suit he's wearing, I believe. By the way, I think he's wearing an armor suit. And then we also have King bob -omb, which you can find him at, uh, well, King bob -omb's, like, hill and stuff, you know? And then we also have Boom Boom, which looks freaking awesome, too. I love how he looks, too. And he also has a lot of cool attacks and stuff. And then we also have Goomboss Unsettled. Oh, well, not Unsettled, but Goomboss is the name of it, though. Yep, and that's Goomboss right there. Oh my god, I almost forgot to show you guys, uh, Goombarions. Those are also new, too. They're, uh, like minions, I guess, to the Goomboss. That's what they look like. And you can't kill them, I think. I don't know. For some reason, you can't. And I guess you can't do that either, too. Well, yeah, these are unsettled. That's why you can't hurt them, I think. No, you can't hurt them. I don't understand. But, yep, those are the bosses right there. And I'll show you guys where they are and how they are all that kind of stuff well next up is the items okay now time for the items we have new ones spike resistant mushroom when eaten you get spike resistance for about 30 seconds i guess we also have resistance shroom which gives you resistance which is nice for 30 seconds and then we also have power stomp shroom when you go like boom it gives you more stomp i guess or let's test it out on the enemy, actually. Let's see. So let's eat this again. Boom. Now, I guess it does more damage, maybe? I would think. But, yeah, so if I, like... Oh, I guess I did a lot more damage. It looked like it did. Um, and then we also have bob -omb now. You can throw bombs. Oh. Uh-oh. And it's gonna go off when it... Yep. Like that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And now you can just throw freaking bob bombs everywhere and then blow up your PC. Well, maybe not blow up your PC, but, you know. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, that looks so cool. I love the effects. I love the effects. That looks so cool. And then we also have the Royal Compass. This right here is very important. Now, Yoshi didn't tell me how you get it. But I think you probably get it from Captain Toad if you give him enough stuff. He'll eventually give you this, and this will lead you to, basically, the Princess Castle, which I'll show you guys later on and stuff, too. Then we also have the Game Boy, which, it's it's very interesting, because I'll show you guys in another video about this. I'll have a whole separate video about this right here. And, um, the Wooden Hammer, it does, let's see, does 3 attack damage, and it does 0.6 attack speed. 
It's a normal standard wooden hammer, basically, I'd say. It's, uh, not bad. You can throw it, I think, can you? No, you can't throw it. But you can hit, and boom. Nice, just like that. Oh, oh he's getting away. Boom. What? Yeah, die. Yep, it's working. I just had to aim a little bit higher. Or, it might not. Oh. Oh, I was using all this stuff. It works like a sword, basically. Whoops. Works like a sword. And we also have a fishing rod. And it works as you would think it works like. You go fishing with it, basically. So let's say over here, if there's any cheap cheeps. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any cheap cheeps over here yet. Might have to spawn some in. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 wait. Here we go. Here's some cheap cheeps right here. Boom. So basically, it works like this. You have the line out. Just like normal fishing. And they should come towards it. And then you can just yoink. Boom. And there you go. You got yourself a cheap cheap. Just like that. It's really cool, though. I like it. And it makes it easier than trying to fight the cheap cheeps. Because cheap cheeps do bite back. I don't want to fight a cheap cheap in survival mode. They do damage. So, yeah. And then we also have uh, maple juice in a bottle. It gives you spike resistance for 20 minutes. I mean, I mean, it gives you spike resistance for about like 20 seconds. In oh, spike resistance five. Wow, that's that's really good. That's like if you're in a pinch, you need to like drink it and then like get over some spikes and stuff. I guess that's really nice actually. And uh, the next ones I'll show off then. All right, now we have a uh, bomb soup. Now I'm not really sure why you would want to drink bombs, but hey, down the hatch, right? So it gives you stomp weakness and resistance. Um, I don't think you want to drink this, guys, or eat it. Unless, like, maybe you want the, like, you know... Oh, look at that, I got poison. Maybe if you want the resistance too out of it, but that's like, why? I don't know. But maybe I'll... But maybe Yoshi knows the reason why he made it. I mean, he is the one who made it, so there's gotta be a reason why it's like that. But, uh, personally, I don't think I'm gonna drink that. I don't think I would if it's gonna do that to me. <laughs> but, maybe there's a reason why. And then Koopa skills. What does that do to you? Oh, nothing, actually. Uh, cook, scoop, cook Koopa skills. It just gives you back hunger, I guess. Which is nice. Koopa cocktail. Let's see how that does to you. Whoa! It gives you stump strength and speed, too. Wow. That's actually really nice. That's actually really nice. Wow, I like that actually. That's really cool. It gives you like a little short burst of like energy stuff you need. Nice, I like it. And then we have Goom Nut. I don't know what that's gonna give me, but oh, I guess it's just like food. Okay, that's nice then. That's really nice. All right. Well, that was all that. Now it's time for the power-ups. Really excited about the power-ups. So now we have the wing cap. And also the rocket boots. These things are really cool. So the wing cap, basically, it's how you would think it is in, like, Super Mario 64. So you first have to jump. One, two, three. And then you fly. It looks a little weird now for the moment, but, but when uh, Yoshi basically, you know, edits out the model and stuff and everything, it's going to look like, you know, how it looks like on the... Um, the normal, like, wing cap, basically, how you fly and stuff. But this is how it works. Now, on survival mode, you would actually start to lose durability on it, like how anything else, and you'll lose durability um, when you're using it, basically, like that. You'll start to lose it, and it'll go down a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but like a good, a significant amount of a lot, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, that's how that works there. And then we also have the rocket boots now. These things are freaking awesome. So let's test it out on some Goombas, all right? And Koopas too, why not? I'm gonna test it out on these guys, so... So let's say you wouldn't wanna... Boom, just like that. You basically propel yourself towards them hitting a freaking front flip and uh, doing damage to them. And it like locks onto them too. It's like a certain humming attack type of thing, if that makes sense. And it's awesome, I love it. I actually love it. Boom, just like that. That's so clean. And then you can knock them out. You actually kick the Koopa shell too. Wow. Wow, that's actually nice. Boom! That has some range on it too. 
That's some pretty good range. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, you next. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I killed him. Amazing. And we go. Oh, that's so cool. I love the freaking, like, dink. That's so clean. Oh, that's so clean. And, um, yeah, that's all the power-ups there. The new ones. These two. And, yeah. Now, it's the, the blocks next and stuff like that. Functional blocks. All right. Oh, look at the little beetle guys. Hey, little guys. Uh, so, as I was saying, though, for items. I mean, as I was saying for functional blocks, we have the Goomba egg. Which, I'm guessing, hatches a Goomba. Oh. Well, I'm guessing it hatches a Goomba. There's a veggie egg also. Look at that! A Goomba has been birthed! Isn't that interesting? Wow. We also have a piranha chest. Uh, which I'm guessing... Oh! Oh, and you destroyed my stuff! I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I can't kill him. Nope, I did. But, as I was saying though, I guess this works as a chest? Maybe? Let me see. Perhaps? I don't know how it works, actually. We also have a one-way wall. Which is, a. Uh, it makes you go one way, as it would say. Boom. It's like inside of the tower stuff and all that. You can't go back, so it's like, you just go in. You can't leave out. Uh, one-way wall button, I guess? Hmm. Not really sure how that works. Let me see. Maybe that's how that works. I'm not really sure. And then we also have an NES, which I'll let you guys know more about that later on in a different video. Then we also have the button, which can control things. So let's say... Oh, there's a... Is there a timer? Oh, there is a timer. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of cool functions with that. Um, let me see something here. So let's say this. I'm gonna do this. Boink. Wait, no. Okay, I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how it works, but it's something like that, I'm pretty sure. You can do. Um, here's the batty box. You can get stuff out of it, I believe. Somehow. Let me see. Oh, no, if you break it. Oh, and then a lot. Oh, wow. You get items and stuff, I said, but also I didn't realize how many freaking Goombas would be inside of it. That's insane. Wow. Bloom. I missed? I missed? Huh. Hold on a second. I never miss. I guess I did miss. I never miss? I guess I did miss. Huh. Either that's probably bugged. Which happens. It's a mod. And these are still in development. So that could have just been a bug right there. Huh. I'll let Yoshi know about it. But that's what happens in the baddie box, though. I guess you get random enemies or Goombas, perhaps. Yeah, it looks like just Goombas, which is pretty cool, though. I like it. You can get a mix of stuff, I guess, too. Yeah, I'm going to have to tell him about this bug. This is why we have people testing things or we just test it out and see what happens. All right, next items, though. All right, next up, we have the coin chest right here. So, if you open it up... Oh, shoot, let me do that. What? Do I have to do this? Huh. How do I open it up? Coin chest. Um, it says you can open it by spending some coins. Oh, I'm dumb. Well, let's get some coins then. Uh, let's get like a coin stack going on here. So... Do I have enough? How about now? Okay, hold on. Let me do one of these. What the? I got nothing out of it. What? Hold on a second here. I feel tricked. What is this? Maybe it was just a bad one. Huh. 
That's interesting. Well, maybe it has no function yet until Yoshi adds something else to it. It could be that kind of thing. Uh, we also have the muncher here, which will do damage to you because he munches on your toes, which is not nice. We also have the wooden spikes, which will be in certain parts of like, uh, I guess a level area. Like that over there could have one. And uh, yeah, you'll get hurt from that. We also have the wing cap, question mark block. Boom, you get the wing cap out of it. A cannonball, it drops. It, yeah, it, it drops. And you gotta be careful of it because there's a cannonball falling. Whatever that means. Wait, what? Oh my god! Jeez, that scared the hell out of me. Wow. Okay, so if you click that, Basically, it freaking summons in a cannonball on you. That's insane. But the awesome, that's awesome and insane. We also have the teleportation pipe. So how this works is uh, you connect it, pretty sure. So I have to do one of these. Bink, and one of these. Uh, hey. Huh. Now, I think this should work. No. Hmm. Oh! Okay, wait. Hold on a second. Maybe it's like this? Let's see. No. Yeah, I'm a little confused on this one, though. I am. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know, but Yoshi, if you know, if you watch this video, Yoshi, what do I do about this? I'm not really sure about that one. It's not working. And now we have flags, which, uh, I guess, uh, there's the Mario one. There's the Luigi one. There's a Wario one. There's a Waluigi one. There's a classic one. Then there's even an SMG4 one, which I like a lot. And then a castle one. Well, look, they all look really cool, though. I like how they look, honestly. And... Then there's one more thing. It's called secret. So let's check that out. So here's the secret question mark block. Let's see what that does. What the? Do I need my hat on or something? No. I'm not really sure what this means. Unless I need something to trigger it. Let's see. So pressing the button didn't do anything to it. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. Honestly. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know what to do about that though, but Yoshi, if you know what that is or what do I do with it, please let me know in the comments, that'd be really helpful. Um, but yeah, that's all of the items there. Now it's time for the fun part, showing you guys all the new, like, I guess, t uh, building stuff. Yeah, that stuff. Let me get that ready for you though. All right, first up we have the sunken ship. Now, this one, in my opinion, is really cool looking. Boom. So, here's what it looks like here. Well, it's supposed to be fully underneath the water, but I guess having out the water shows a little bit more better for you. Um, so, you have the red blocks. Uh, you have to get all the red star coins, or whatever they call it, those coins. And when you get all these coins, well, uh, let's see, how many is there again? There's a lot of them, actually. Yeah, you'll be basically in the water with all these. It'll be deep in the water, not gonna lie, though. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. And right here? Am I blind? Yeah, I think I am blind. Got it. I think. Oh yeah, here's what it looks like inside the ship too as well. Oh no, let me just take it to the water. Let me just take it to a deep water real quick. Hold on. Okay, here's how it looks, or it's supposed to look basically. Let me swim actually. It looks just like off of Super, uh, Super Mario 64. I love it. And I think there's different ship designs maybe. I could be wrong. But uh, down here, if you do a ground pound, you can open up this thing and get in there. Just get it right. There we go. Wait, I got it. Now, this is a chest right here, and I think it's the eel chest, actually. So, you could actually... Oh, yeah, look at that! Koopa cocktail, blue Koopa shell. There's a lot of good stuff inside these things, so... 
When you play Mario Mania, definitely, if you see one of these, get it. But be careful, though, because there is the Unagi. Definitely be careful of the Unagi. That is something you do not want to mess with, honestly. Let me get out of this part. Okay, where am I at now? Oh, I'm right here. Okay. I'm going to break this. Get out easier. And voila, now I'm out that part. Now, the Unagi will be around swimming around the ship parts and stuff so basically it's like a get and go you have to get in there get the stuff and get out before the unagi gets you basically next up is now sky island generator oh it's like that oh my god so basically it you know like in the um games when you hit like a brick and it will make the thing go up that's what this is right here oh my god yoshi that is genius that is so genius right there yoshi so, we have a Sky Island. Apparently, we have a Sky Island. That is so cool. And then it chomps through the cloud and stuff. Oh my god. Look at this. Yoshi, you genius. Wait, what if I go and... What's that? I don't know what that is. Oh, whatever it is. Oh, it's a Sky Water Pot. That's so cool. Well, now we're in the sky. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Dude, what? Boom. Nice. Oh, look at the Rainbow Road. Oh, my God. Rainbow Road. What if we get, like... Oh, man. There's so many possibilities now. A Rainbow Star. Mushrooms. A lot of coins. Oh, my God. This is lucky. This is so lucky if you find this. Oh, my God. There's even music, too, now, I believe. Hold on. Is it? Either it's bugged out but i don't hear the music i don't know huh. but that's this is a cloud island i guess you can call it oh this is so cool though wow just <gasps> look at that little cloud block oh that's so cool wait you can use that to get up there oh there's star uh what's it called up here uh wait <gasps> super mushroom that's always nice to get okay Boom, got that. There's so much stuff over here. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know about this. Oh, this is this is amazing, Yoshi. Oh, Tanuki power. Tanuki. Okay. Whoa, don't go over edge. Uh can I hit the bricks? Wait. Some bricks you can hit though. I know you can. Super mushroom. Okay, nice. What's in this one? I actually don't know what's in this. Bubble power? Oh, I'm guessing you can just take these for the go, actually. So to take them for the go, you have to uh, get up to them and crouch, I think. Or left click. Something like that. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, where haven't I checked out yet? Oh, what's that over there? Okay, wait, over here first. What's over here? Gold? No, a yellow Koopa shell? Okay, that's actually really cool, too. That's really cool. Now, what's over here? I'm really interested about this. What is this? What is this? Music box. Okay. What do you do about that? Huh. Can I break this? Yep. Give me the good stuff. Do you use it on here? Oh. I'm guessing in a later update that this will take you to, like, a Star World, maybe? I'm guessing, because that's what the, um, that's what the posters are going to be for. They're going to be for, like, transporting you to different worlds and stuff. But this is awesome. I love this. This was actually really cool. I guess while we're up here, or, no, we can just go back down, I guess. Boom. This right here is, oh, a small cloud island generator. It basically does this. Boom. Little island stuff. Little smaller one than that one. That one's amazing, though. You get a music box. I'm not sure where the music box goes at, though. But this is amazing, though, off the bat. Amazing. Oh, my God. I love this. Now, we have a, something uh, really interesting I think you guys might like. Oh, there's Captain Toad right there. We have bob uh tower. King bob tower. So, let's spawn it in right here. Okay. So, I spawn underneath it. But, this is what it looks like right here, though. It looks... Oh my god, this is actually amazing. Look at it all! Like, you actually have to go up the whole thing and everything just to fight them. 
So let's say we're going over here, right? Boom. Gotta get up here. Dodge this. Over here. And I'm guessing you could use the bob bombs to break this if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. So you blow that up, I guess? Maybe? Yep, he's gonna blow up. Oh, and then you get secret stuff. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually really cool. What's this? Oh, a shockwave thing. And then bullet bills over here. Awesome. Oh my god, this is... This is actually really like a Mario game, it feels like now. What's that? Oh yeah, this thing. If I break this. Oh, a whole bunch of Goombas appear out of it. And they're probably gonna blow up soon because of the bob bomb. Yep. Boom. Alright, run through here. And then you come up here. And then he's here, bob bomb himself. Alright, uh, I guess we can... Well, let's see. Let's see how we do. All right, let's see how we do against Baba. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Actually, I don't know how to fight him. Oh, my God. How do you fight him? Oh, I think I know what you have to do. Oh, my God. We gotta make them blow up. Oh, no. I think. Maybe? I don't know. I actually have no idea how you fight him. Oh, those are spikes on there. Yoshi, you smart son of a gun. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know he was going this hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sheesh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually very this is actually very difficult. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. Burnt to a crisp. Well, that was uh, Bob-omb's tower right here again. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so you guys can see what a good estimate how big it is. It's about this big and it's freaking awesome. And you can find this randomly out there in the wilderness or the wild. Yep. And then you have King Bob-omb right there. And now the tower generator. I actually like the tower generators a lot. I mean, not generators, the tower uh, parts. Oh, here we are. So, you spawn in, or well, not spawn in, but you um, find one of these places out in the middle, you know, nowhere like this. All right, so basically, you have to make your way up. You know, like an actual level be like. You can get like power up blocks and stuff and all that over here. Dodging these kind of things. Jump up here. Oh, uh where I am now oh oh I know where I am now either it I'm not sure what happened here maybe a little glitch happened and stuff got built over it that's what I'm thinking here probably or maybe there's a different way to come up here I don't know they're all randomized sometimes like that oh you collect the star stuff throughout the levels uh, okay, over here oh no this way yeah, it's, it's really interesting how this is. Oh, and there's these things here. Wow, look at that. Okay, you run this way, I'm guessing. You have the parkour over these things because I'm guessing these will burn you. They look like they would. And I kind of don't want to die right now again after getting this place spawned in. Yeah, I think they would hurt you, probably. Probably would hurt you. Uh, this way. Boom. And sometimes you have to defeat an enemy in a room to get past it. A little enemy like that. Probably like burn them. Like the fire flower. Or do one of these. Boom. Break that. And if I can just jump up there. Get through there. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Here's the buttons, how they work. Boom. I guess. what that means I guess we have to get up here oh it blew up <gasps> something blew up or was that boom boom up there that blew up oh there he is and then here is boom boom right here he is a good boss battle and he will say that too I'll knock you out you weakling 
I won't fight him really, but I'm gonna just show you like what he does. He swings his arms. He does a jump. He also will do a, a spike trick. So you gotta be careful when you jump onto him too. You could accidentally get swung at just like that. Or he'll do that to you too. Uh, okay, here we go. Whoa. Okay, okay. Oh, yep. Taking damage. Just trying to show you guys his attack stuff without dying. He'll do like a little spike thing. He'll fake it. Like when you're about to jump onto him, he'll cut him like. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, no. And I just took a screenshot. My god. But basically, you'll see in <laughs> when you fight him. He'll do like a little duck thing and then show off his back spikes on you and then get you with that. Kind of like how he did in the games and stuff. That's what he'll do to you. Uh, but up next, we have the Goombas tree, gener uh, Goombas tree, which you'll see right here. They usually spawn in the Goomba forest and stuff. These kind of things. Boom. And there we go. Now to get up here, it's a very, very big, big like boss battle looking area so you will start off i don't know like over here let's say you go in here oh look at that it looks so cool and um just you know stuff like this in here you can use that to get up higher there's even musical notes like that uh oh do that too get some coins um there's a lot of different ways of getting here though and get up there basically uh, like this way you can see like the little log stuff you can come in here and You just go all the way up and Boom now you're on the second floor. I believe this is the second floor. I could be wrong and You have little guys like this the Goombarons or whatever they're called now. I don't know if you would fight them, but Maybe you might I don't know you can't really hurt them. So I'm not really sure about that part. Oh, yeah, there's even this the uh, paintings and stuff, too. Uh, can I go through here? Oh, I can. Interesting. And I'm guessing in here... <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, that makes sense. So inside of those things, you would have, like, um, those kind of things. I see now. I see. That's interesting. I like that a lot. I actually like that a lot. These little things right here give you stuff. They can give you food. Oh my god, that's so cool. And little power-up stuff, too. I guess. That's actually really cool. Okay. I guess you go up here. Ooh, look at that. Parkouring. Music notes. Okay. And you get the stuff out of this. And it'll just, poop disappear. Awesome. And then now you're on the third floor... I'm guessing you go up more. Oh, yeah, you definitely go up more. Oh, you oh you take those out. Oh, okay, there's a lot of parkouring up here. Okay, I like this. You gotta break open this. Oh, no, do not. Okay, let me just switch the coin so I don't spawn another place inside of another place. That wouldn't be good. Okay. Yeah, my parkour skills is actually not the best, but if you guys are good, you'll be good at this. There we go. If I could just... Okay. Nope. Right, can I not? Okay, I'm not good at that part. <laughs> Unless the Mario figure can't fit in there. No, I'm not. I can't be right. And just probably like... Oh, you have to flip the thing up. I'm dumb. You have to flip the little uh thing up. They're flipped down, so you have to, like, flip it open. My goodness. All right, and now we're up here. We can probably continue going up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I'm guessing those things do damage because... Oh, wait, use these things. Use those things to, like, cool it down. I forgot. Yep. You break it. Or not like that, but you break it in the water would cool it down. Just remember that. Uh, okay. And then we keep going up and up, basically. I'm gonna just skip past this a little bit because I'm running out of time, kind of ish. This video is gonna be very long, already enough. But I want to show you guys the cool parts basically. And you keep going up, you keep going up basically like this until you get to this one room right here, which I'm guessing is the final one. Is it? 
Is it? It is! And then now you have the Goombas. Yes. And I think after you defeat them, which uh, I think these open up. Let me see. What if I go invincible and just stand there and kill them? Let's see that. Let's just kill him real quick. Don't really need to try too much. Just gotta kill him. And I think he drops something nice. Or do you go back into a portal? It's either one of those ones. Hold on, let's see. I know this is cheating. I know this is cheating. But I want to show you guys what happens, so. Yep, and he falls over. Huh. Interesting. Nothing happens. Oh, that's poison right there. And I know he would spawn in like Goombas and stuff to get you. But I guess these uh don't work as posters yet. Alright, next up is Larry Citadel. Now this thing is it's amazing. You're about to see it. We're gonna need a lot more space though. A lot more space. It's it's massive. Alright, and now we are inside of Larry Citadel. Now the way to get out of here would be to like hold down shift. Let the sparkles come up and then boom, jump out of it. Uh, oh, you have resistance shrooms in here. You got super mushrooms. Uh, you wouldn't spawn in there like that. I'm pretty sure you would just find it. But uh, yeah, here we go right now. Wow. No, wait, let me turn it nighttime real quick. Yeah, look at it now. That looks freaking awesome. Now we have all these little things here we can do. Like these guys, so you will fight them, basically. And he kind of got me stuck. Okay. Oh, you can't open it. But I'm going to basically bully this guy into a, over here. Get over here. Okay. I need... Yo, he's... He is not letting me pass. Wow, what a loser. But basically, you would knock these guys down. Oh, not into lava, though. That could possibly happen to you, though, if you're not safe enough. You gotta move them into... Over there. Okay. It's a little... A little toughy. Up oh, and then bam! He's over here now. And now... You would try to kill him. Oh. Yep, like that, basically. Not like that, but... You will... You can punch them if you want. Or you can jump onto them and then they'll fall in. That kind of thing. And I think if you kill them all, they all will... And he fell in. But nothing happened, I think. I'm not really sure how that works, honestly. But there's a lot of areas though it goes down even here. There's a lot of these guys you fight and stuff. There's even Larry freaking like uh, statue stuff too. There's a lot of stuff. We even have... um, uh, What are they called again? You know, you know what I mean. Oh, look at all this. Wow, what, what's that do? I think that would do something. And I'm guessing... That's interesting. <clears throat> you can do this. Open this up. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here, too. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. And I think the main thing is, though, you have to clear out everything here. Like, it's a level, I guess. But, yep, that's Larry Citadel, though. And now we have the next one, Great Wall Continuer. And it creates a great wall, basically. And it'll be like a really big great wall. Like, it'll stretch on and on and on, basically. And there's enough space. Oh. And now he's about to explode. Can I go in there? Guess not. Oh, and that exploded. Um, But yeah, that's the great wall right there. The ruined tower generator looks like this one. Let me get over here. So, I believe... Actually... Oh! Oh, you have to go up. Okay. So, you have to go up. Oh, and that's what it looks like. It's like a little tower, basically, you can go to. And these spawn out bad guys, I'm guessing. Alright, and next up we have Larry's airship. So this is basically where you will fight Larry Koopa, up there. So how you do it, you get into the thing, and honestly, 
uh, Yoshi, I don't know if that's a bug or not, but that doesn't feel like it's high enough to get to it. I don't feel like it's high enough. I think it should be a little bit more bounce, you know, to get up there. But, yeah. And then you get up here, and then boom, there he is. Larry Koopa. Now, Larry Koopa, he has a lot of attacks. A lot of attacks. Now, I can show you by not fighting him, because I don't feel like fighting him right now. But, I'm going to show you... Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to show you right now once I make him aggressive. So now, Larry's aggressive, and he should try to attack things. So, he has that attack. His magic wand attack and stuff, you know, like the... You know, attack stuff whatever it's called he does jump around he does he will also do melee attacks too uh he'll go into his shell also and do like a little spin thing which hopefully you'll do let's see will he do it that's the question or do i have to go in survival mode okay let's see yep he's gonna do all that attack stuff okay maybe i shouldn't have spawned in the goombas either Let's see. Will he do it? Oh, yeah, he does fireballs, too. He also does fireballs. He'll do a, a spin Koopa shell thing, whatever it's called. You'll see in a second. Oh, yep, he's trying to attack me. I think after a certain amount of time, he will try to do it. I think. Or either a certain amount of hits you do. Oh, God. Yep. Yep. That's okay. Okay, I'm trying to focus here, so I don't. Oh my god. Woo! Yeah, this is tricky. He is not an easy boss. Nowhere near it. I think. Here we go. Here we go. He's jumping. He does that too. He does the jumping, but he should also do the little Koopa shell thing too. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, it's right here. Okay, good. I'm so glad he added save points like that. Because that would have sucked a lot. Honestly. That would have sucked. Okay, so... As you saw before, too, when you get him down enough, he will start to do... Um, not do, but he will become like his knight form, where he wears like an armor type thing. Okay, let's. Oh, yep, he's trying to kill me already. Oh, why did I break that? That's actually very useful. Why did I break that? I got rid of the most important thing I should probably keep. Oh, he's doing his little jump stuff. Oh, that's so freaking cool. But why isn't he done the. He shouldn't have done like this Koopa spin thing. He shouldn't have been did that, I feel like. I'm not sure why he hasn't though. That's weird. But, yeah, that's basically Larry right there. And I think there's something underneath the. Wait. Oh my god, there's freaking Koopas in here. But, the last thing up is now the airship. And it's right next to his airship. Isn't that funny? Alright. So, oh yeah, I forgot to like tell you, there's even like propeller things on there, which is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah, there's hammer bros too. They be on here. They try to fight you and stuff, basically. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's a whole inside here too. And I think, what's this? Is this the way out of it? Yeah, there's the way out of it too, which is cool. Uh, the get up here, you'll take like the little thing up here. And the hammer bros are really fun to fight too, because they jump around actually on everything. Like how you see them in the like actual game. Uh, what's through here? Oh, chest. Levers. Oh, you go up the windows, coins, tanuki power. Oops. Uh, a lot of cool stuff like that though. But I can beat. Oh, that's so cool. Boom. Oh, I missed. Gotcha. <laughs> I like that they even make the noises, too. That's so cool to see them just right over there, too. Imagine, like, a whole fleet of airships and stuff, and you have to, like, jump from one to one, and then you get to, like, the main boss, and then he's just, like, right there and stuff. 
I feel like that'd be really cool to do. Boom. Boom. Yeah, just like that. And I think that's about it, actually. That's that's about it for that part. And now it's Peach's Castle, which I'll get in here too. And voila, here we have it. Peach's Castle. A whole like place you can go to basically. When you find it with the um with the what is it called? Royal Compass, basically. You go to the where the Royal Compass ends at, and then you'll find Peach's Castle there. And you can go inside of it. And it looks like this. There's even like this little stuff here. If you have like the Mario cap on, you can um let's see. You can hit this. And something will happen, I guess. I'm not really sure what happens, but that kind of thing happens. Uh, you can go over here. There's this. This will take you to the real world. So, set your spawn point in the Mario world just in case you don't want to go back to the real world. For every one reason, if you want to go back to the real world, that's the painting to jump into. You can jump into that and it'll take you to the real world. Um, then we have one over here, too. There's a lot of stuff. You actually can jump through the paintings. This one right here... For the moment, it's just this. Uh, and then it gives you bob -omb stuff. But there will be, I guess, like a way to go through there and go to like bob -omb place, I guess. Uh, no, wait, let me show everything else upstairs and then downstairs. And we got over here. Let's see, we got uh, a pipe that goes this way. You can go up here. There's a little secret stuff, basically, you can um, get over here. Yep, yeah, and then here's this world. This will be the ice world you can go to. Or Snow World, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, let go. Oh, let go. Okay, here we go. You can leave out of there. You can go over here. And Waluigi's hat will be for that. Go up here. And then, I'm guessing this will be a different world, too. And there's a piranha plant up here. That's just nice. And then you can save your spawn point right there. Nice. And now we can go over here, which, oh yeah, there's another poster right there, and another one right here too, I'm guessing this is a different world too you can go to. The grayed out pictures mean you haven't unlocked them too, so you need to unlock those pictures and then you'll have them basically. Uh, let's see. Yep, another one, the beach one I'm guessing. So, oh, a rainbow star, you can even find nice things in here too. Really nice things. Um, okay, and now, this way, and up here. I don't know what that is. I think that's Nabbit. It looks like Nabbit's, uh, it looked like Nabbit's um, icon, so I'm thinking it could be that. Oh, and I'm stuck in a wall. Oh, come on, come on. All right, here we go. And a music box. Isn't that nice? Yeah, there's little things like that throughout the castle. Um, I love it, actually. It's amazing and detailed. Uh, let's go over here. And now we can go downstairs into the basement, which is just like Super Mario 64. Uh, there's also this thing right here, the Eternal Star. You use this to make, uh, the Dark Stars, I think, into Good Stars? Something like that? I think that's how that works. Yep, and it turns into a Star of Eternal Dunes. Just like that. It's really cool, actually. It's really cool. And now we have more downstairs into the basement. Which you go into, like, the one area, like, how it was in 64. Where you can have... Let me see. Okay. Can't see. Where am I? Oh! So right here? I'm guessing will be something soon. Or you get, like, stuff right there, I'm guessing. And then over here is the next world that's being worked on. The desert world. Right now. And that's gonna be really hype. I can't wait for that to come out too. And um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and what are you guys doing in here? This isn't your place. This is not your place. Sayonara. And they're all dead. I like the little ricochet thing. That's so cool. What if I just. Yep, there you go. Look at the models, they look so good. Oh, they work so good. But, yep. That's it, guys. That's for the update video of Mario Mania. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new, too. And I'll see you guys in the next one, then. Peace. Woohoo!